we're going to do today is do some exploring with patterns. The children have worked extensively with making patterns and uh, talking about their patterns, but we haven't done a lot of work yet with labeling patterns. The routine that I'm going to use today is one that I created with a colleague uh, in order to try to help the children make connections with their own thinking, to think about their own thinking, and to give them a structure and a vocabulary to think about their thinking. Uh, what we've done is we've created some keys with uh, different types of questions. There's form, function, connection, and reflection, and each key has an associated question with it. All right. What's the question for form? What is it like? That's right. And what's our next key? Function. Do you remember the question for function? How does it work? How does it work? And we've talked about that, how patterns work, that they repeat again and again, haven't we? And I've answered. What I'm hoping the children will be, will be able to do today is use the keys to help them make connections with the patterns that they're going to do. So our main focus will be connection and reflection. Can you remember some of the questions for connection? It's a tough one because it has so many questions, doesn't it? How is this like something I have seen before? Something new or different here. Well done, Jake. And for reflection, does anyone remember what the reflection question is? Jake, you asked me a reflection question earlier, didn't you? Mm -hmm. What was your reflection question? Oh, was it uh, a card? How do you know, um, how do you know, uh, how do you know? Yeah, how do you know? That's right. How do you know? That's the reflection question. Now, what I want us to look at today is I want us to look at how different patterns might have some things about them that are the same. And how do they connect with each other? Which key do we need to look at for looking at patterns and how they might be the same? Connection. 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 Can we unlock our thinking? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Can I come around and unlock your thinking? Yeah. Are you unlocked? Yeah. Okay. Are you unlocked? Yeah. When we unlock the children's uh, thinking with the key, we actually like to do it physically because it really gives the children the feel of uh, now I'm really thinking. What we need to do is first we need to make a pattern so we have something to work with. I have to add a goat. We're going to give letter names instead of big, medium, medium, small. I'm going to start at the beginning of the alphabet and I'm going to call the big bear A. I'm going to call medium bears B. And I'm going to call small bears C. But where's the other B for the other medium bear? Well, how do you know it needs to be a B? A, B, but then you normally, D. then you normally do C need to go with the other medium bear. I'm curious to see today whether the children are able to make the connections on their own uh, between the different kinds of patterns. I'm curious to find out if they can talk about how something connects to another pattern. Who would like to tell me, who would like to try to name their pattern with letters? Why don't we start with Allie? A. And what are you going to name the ups? B. Okay. And last but not least, Jake, what do you think you're going to do? Make the small circle A, make the big circle B, B and the line B, um, C, C. Why will you do that? Because they're both doubles of each other. Okay, both and C, why will these two be different? They're both circles. But because this one's more small than the other. Ah, so they're different circles. David. A, A, B, B. Why? Because there's 
all doubles in my pattern. Okay. Put the doubles. Then pattern. you have the same like Ellie. Mm -hmm. What did you say, Charlotte? Then you have the same like Ellie. Well, how do you know? Because they're B both only doubles. Yeah. A A B B A A B B. If we looked at Allie's pattern with the arrows and David's pattern with the fruit, is it the same thing? Yeah, it connects. Is it the same thing? No. It has something different about it because we use different materials. But what do you mean it connects? Because they're both A A B B. And two doubles. Aha. So they both have the same type of pattern. Yeah. But they use different things to make it. Okay, very interesting. Okay. Are there any more connections? There's Let's one see. more. There's another connection? Me and Idris, because we both have different things. Cause but no, we're not connected. Tell me, no, that's okay. I'm I'm glad you noticed that, Jake. Tell me why it's not connected. Because I have A B C C and Idris has A B C D. And so why doesn't that connect? Because um, I have one what back is of D. You guys are so clever and you've really made the connection. Yeah. What surprised me in the lesson today was that the children, they know the keys, but it surprised me that they were able to make the connections on their own before I had a chance to ask them about the connections. They said, hey, that's a connection. One child noticed that his pattern was different than someone's. He started to say it was the same, but then he said, no, it's not. But he was able to explain why it's different and that it isn't a connection. And that surprised me. A, A, B, 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 B and Allie, connection. A, A, B, B.